Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Beretta APX Centurion. Mid-sized pistol from Beretta. The APX models have become a whole line of handguns. They originally started with the, the full size with a four and a quarter inch barrel back in the spring of 2017. And since then, they came out with a compact and a Centurion. Now this is a 3.7 inch barrel with 15 round mags the compact has the same upper with 13 round mags so a shorter grip and then they came out with the carry model which is a subcompact apx but from its initial launch people took notice with the slide serrations i don't think they're serrations i don't know what else to call them bumps or whatever i called that a bold move from beretta because i've never seen anything like it before now it's become quite common, but you can pretty much manipulate the slide anywhere on it because you have those bumpy serrations. How about if we go with that? Nice grip. These are grip modules. I'm going to show you that. Now I picked this up locally, and it's it's like new. Like the owner said, eh, probably a couple mags through it, that was it. But if you go with this, you're looking at, on average, about 360 bucks. Now, it used to be around $500, so it's gone toward a budget price, and I guess I could add this in my budget series, right? Breda doesn't give a MSRP on the site. Two 15-round mags, a cleaning brush, and grip modules. Two others, along with the one in that's installed, and a 3.7-inch barrel. A bit wide with the slide width. Grip not bad, nice ergonomic feel to it. And 15 round mags, does have a rail right there. They now make them optic ready. It is a modular gun, so they they have the serialized chassis right there. You could add a flat dark earth, OD green, a, a gray frame if you want. People are doing that and they like that flexibility. I, I really don't care about that kind of stuff to be honest with you. I know a lot of people do. Nice bag deployment, by the way. Check that out. Comes flying out there. Three dot sights, a larger front dot, two rear all steel sights, and a pretty nice trigger. I've always liked the APX. Um, I, I like the full size. When I first got my hands on that, I thought that was very cool. I like the compact. I, you know, same idea. 13 round mags, I didn't fall in love with it. I think I like this better. You know, you get a full three finger contact on the pistol. I, I, I think I'm gonna like this better. If I didn't think that, I wouldn't have picked it up. But the trigger pull is right around six pounds. Does have a trigger bar safety there. You're looking at a six pound trigger with a audible and fairly short reset. And I've never had a problem with the trigger. Let's get it on the scale. It's weighing a little bit on the heavier side for a compact size gun. You know, they call the, the other one a compact. One pound, 11 ounces, just ounces, 27. But we'll go with 15 rounds here. 33 and a quarter. Add the carry round. 33 and three quarters is what we're looking at. One of the issues with the APX models is the disassemble. And the reason I say it's an issue is because I have noticed from my own experiences that it's a bit inconsistent. This button here needs to be pushed all the way in. Now, when I had my compact model, which is essentially the same thing, I could just push that in. I make a little headway there, but I can't get it to actually lock. My other one, I could, and it was really easy. So I'm going to use the help of a punch and push that in and get it to lock at this point this needs to come down now it, it kind of it doesn't want to go down easily so what i'm going to do i had to i had to learn this i'm just going to shake it a little bit make sure it's out a little bit shake it all the way until it goes all the way down and then off comes the slide so if i force it i feel like i'm doing something to Put stress on the internals. Here we have a steel guide rod, dual recoil spring, and a 3.7 inch barrel. Not too bad. I had to play around with it to, to figure it out. And I'm thinking, how come this isn't breaking down as easy as 
the full size did or the, the, the compact size does. And then I, you know, remember people saying, oh, the, the disassemble on these are horrible. I was thinking, I don't get it. What, like, what do these people not understand? Well, now I get it. Okay, so you bring it back to this position. You can go ahead and charge it. It'll go halfway. You'll see that the guide rod sticks out a little bit. Just kind of force it up a little bit. That'll go flush, and it is reassembled. Budget series. I, I'm, I'm convinced of it. I, I would not have said this three years ago because the MSRP back when they actually listed it was in the mid 500s. It was selling 500, five and a quarter. Now you're seeing it in the mid 300s. They make them red dot ready. Those are more. They make a full size called the Combat with a threaded barrel and red dot ready. This is a standard APX Centurion with a 15 round magazine. Nice grip. I'm going to keep this same module on here because I like the way it feels, but I think it's a pretty cool gun. I'm going to get this, this to the range hopefully this weekend and check it out and I'll certainly record it so you can check it out too. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.